So now that we've added a little bit of Flash content to our web page, I'm going to ask you to close the index. And remember, we're working from this template simply because we can update all of our pages all at once. Now, here we are back in that template. And what I want to show you in this particular video is how we can insert some JavaScript inside of our sections, as you can see right here. So there's a couple of things that I want to do. Perhaps what we can do is right underneath these links, we can add a little bit of content down at the bottom here. So we're kind of cluttering up our page, I know, but hypothetically speaking, let's imagine we did have this information. Or perhaps we could have even inserted something else right under here if we wish. So let's say perhaps we can do it on this side. So here I'm just going to insert a new paragraph. And once we have that paragraph in place, what we're going to be doing with that is to have our cursor embedded right over here on this section. And you'll notice that at this point, I'm going to come up to the top. And you can see that here we have images, like a rollover image is one thing. Normally, by default, it just says image. And it looks like this, the icon. But if you click down on the little arrow, you'll see rollover image. And one of the most common things that are oftentimes associated with JavaScript on web pages is a rollover image. So I'm going to have an advertisement here, but this one's going to be a rollover image. So let's try this. I'm going to click on rollover image right here. And what I'm going to do is to give it an image name. And I'm just going to call this, um, let's say, killer sites add two. And the original image, if we browse for it, you'll notice that in the Stitch in Time Start folder, I happen to have placed in here the images folder, something called add up and something called add over. So the add up file is the first one. In other words, what's the, what's the advertisement look like? when we have an advertisement on the up. In other words, we haven't touched down on this. We haven't done anything along those lines or anything like that. So when we roll over this, that's when the add over should appear. Alternate text, I'm just going to say add for now. You can add whatever you want. And let's say when clicked, go to URL. Now, which URL do we want to go to? Well, if this is an advertisement for killer sites, I'm going to say HTTP colon slash slash www.killersites.com So with that in place, you'll notice that when we click on this particular object, we'll also be able to go to a particular website. Now, because it was inside of a paragraph, if you remember, I made it in a paragraph. And because of that, it's off the edges. And of course, I've made it the same size as the other one. So let's preview this in our browser. And let's see what that looks like. OK, so now I have another advertisement here. And if I roll over it, it says Killicides, Video Tutorials, right underneath the other one. And if I were, in fact, to click on it, aha, it takes us to killersites.com. Great. So here, what I'm going to do at this point is to just quit my browser. We can do that. That's not a problem. And we'll go back to. Dreamweaver for a second. Now, everything looks great, and there's really no problems with that. But whenever you have Dreamweaver add information like it's done here, in other words, add, in this case, our JavaScript information, if I go to the code view, there's something that's been added. Well, certainly, we can look at what's been added here. And you'll notice that in that div, there's a new paragraph, and it has some you know strong information in there with regards to mouse overs and stuff like that. And that I don't really mind. But what I don't really like is the addition of all of this JavaScript in the head section of my document. Remember, to make this document be much more you know, uh, search engine friendly, the better thing for us to do is to externalize a lot of this code. And they've done such a good job doing that when we added the Flash object. And as you can see, it, it had an external JS file that was in this scripts folder. So what I want to be doing with this is certainly externalizing all of the code that I'm using right here. So let me walk you through how we can do that. First of all, what I want you to do is to take 
all of the code that's inside of this script tag as you can see here and when you have all of that code in here I want you to then select it all and press con command X or control X on a PC and notice we've removed everything from those script tags but we left the script tags themselves and notice I left the closing tag as well just as we had to do in this one also so at this point I mean certainly you can refresh that that's not a problem but what I want you to now do is to create a new folder or a new file I should say rather and we'll go to blank page and this time we're gonna say JavaScript make me a blank JavaScript file well really that's just a blank document but I'm gonna select everything that's in here and press command V to paste in all of those JavaScript code that we take took from the template so now we're going to save this we're gonna say file save and we're going to put it in the scripts folder because, well, we, we have scripts there, so might as well put another JS script in there. And I'm just going to call this rollover.js. We'll save that there. So we can close that. We don't need that anymore. Now, this page, our index page, remember, or our template in this case, has not been updated. Well, what that means is here I have, you know, the scripts for JavaScript, but it doesn't know where to find it. And you notice we need the source attribute. So just do this. Put your cursor right before the closing of that opening tag. P put a space there and you'll see the little drop down and we'll say double click on source. So when you do that, it's going to now prompt you to go searching or browsing for the source. So it'll point right to your scripts folder and there it is, rollover.js, the one that we just created. Perfect. So now it's got it in there. We're going to hit refresh. We're going to hit save and notice because it's a template it's going to update all of these pages. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Press close and now we can open up our index page if you wish and here's the design view right and as you can see there's our little object and if we preview this in the browser we'll see that every page has been updated every page has this little rollover effect for example here's the portfolio page it's got the flash and it's got the working rollover and the beautiful part of it is that if we look at our code view in here the head section does not have you know an inordinate amount of JavaScript in there we've reduced that to this one simple line instead of like 20 lines of code all of that code has been externalized in this new rollover.js file is not that great so that's how we insert JavaScript using Dreamweaver and when we come back we'll start talking about some other things like video